Okay, so this is my system. It's uh, Cool Master Master Box 5 MSI edition. It has um, a Ryzen R7 1700 overclocked to 3.9. Uh, the voltage is at 1.325. It's uh, an MSI BC50 Thunderhawk motherboard. That's a deep cool Gamax 400 cooler with twin fans. The motherboard itself has one exhaust and three intake fans, uh, all of which are Cooler Master Jet Flow fans. It's an MSI Gaming X RX 480 graphics card and I've got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Okay so as you can see here we're at the, the lowest uh, RPM possible with the fans I've got on the, the CPU cooler. Uh, the jet flow pushes the Gamax fan pulls um, and it's running around 234-35 RPM. The idle temperature here is 29 and that's about normal. Um, if we then take the fan speed up to 20% Let you hear it. It's not uh, not much in the way of sound coming from it. So I'll take it up to thirty. It's not intrusive at all yet. You know, so this at the moment the house is is silent. There's nothing going on in the background. Um, we're starting to hear the fan now. Take it to 50. You can definitely hear, hear them moving. And uh, we'll go to 60. To 70. Eighty. Still not too bad. Ninety. And then a hundred percent. Now during gaming, and it never goes up to a hundred percent. And obviously, there's no um, the, the, the fan speeds are for the the case are down quite low. Um, so there, there's there's not much noise coming from them, um, but as you can hear, it's it's not too bad actually. Okay, just to give you an idea of what it's like when it is actually doing some work, I'm just going to render this short uh, video, and I'll let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, that's that. Now, the reason the fans, the case fans are so loud is that I only have one exhaust and three intake um, fans. There isn't anything on the top of the case. Um, and with the BC50 board, the VRMs can get quite hot. Um, and that's why there's the, the dual fan on the, the CPU cooler, because that blows some air onto the, the VRMs. Um, if I was to run 
um, OCCT, it would go up to around 72 on the VRM. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to run OCCT just to show you what the uh, temperatures actually go up to. So I'll quickly clear them in max and let it run for 30 minutes and we'll see what we get. So, see you in 30 minutes. So OCCT has run for its 25 minutes, it's now on its cooldown. As we can see the CPU is only went up to 62 degrees and the VRM only went up to 73 using the Gamax deep the deep cool Gamax 400. Um, without that second fan um, the VRMs would be up around 82-83 degrees Celsius. Um, the fan blows a bit of air over them, which is is handy. Um, so overall, that the, the deep cool Gamax 400 is a very efficient CPU cooler, and it's quite cheap. It's only um, between 25 and 30 pounds in the UK, and depending if you get red or blue, um, and other fans fit on it. So it's very good value compared to something like a an Octura or water cooling. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.